San Diego contains all the best that California has to offer. It has beautiful beaches, packed museums, unique neighborhoods, and more. It's a vacation destination that's relaxing, enlightening, and exciting at the same time. Keep watching to learn about the best things to do in San Diego, California. Rady Children's Ice Rink this rink in Liberty Station is open from 10 to 10, except for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Tickets last all day, so you can stay as long as you want, and all proceeds of ticket purchases go to benefit the Peckham Center for Cancer and Blood Disorders. Axe Ventures Book online or walk in for an axe-throwing coaching session. The North Park Rage Room is the perfect place to release stress by smashing objects with a crowbar or baseball bat. Enjoy dark light nights on Thursdays after 6 p.m. The Farmer's Table This establishment offers the Barnyard Bloody Mary. It's not your ordinary drink. It serves four or more and contains a pitcher of booze, skewers of bacon-wrapped shrimp, Mexican street corn, mozzarella-stuffed mushrooms, bacon-wrapped hot dogs, short ribs, andouille sausage, grilled and pickled vegetables, blue cheese-stuffed olives, bacon covered in barbecue sauce, and an entire roasted chicken. If you're not ready for something so massive, you can enjoy more tame drinks like the Tijuana Maria, which contains a bacon-wrapped hot dog, Mexican street corn, and pickled vegetables. South Bay Drive-In Theater you won't have to sacrifice quality at this retro spot. Its three 100-foot screens are all picture-perfect. A $10 adult ticket or $1 kid ticket gets you access to a daily double feature. You can also get email coupons for savings at the cash-only snack bar. Manchester Grand Hyatt This beautiful hotel offers a luxurious stay and has a special feature on top that makes it stand out. The Rooftop Cinema Club lets you watch a movie while sitting on comfortable deck chairs and listening through wireless headphones. You can also take in the view or enjoy craft brews, themed cocktails, and upscale food. There are two screenings every Sunday through Wednesday and three every Thursday through Saturday. Coronado Ferry Landing Buying a cheap $7 one-way ticket to take a 15-minute ride on the Coronado Ferry to this spot is a worthwhile trip on its own. Once you get there, you can shop, eat, ride your bike, try stand-up paddleboarding, and more. Silver Strand Bikeway This 18-mile trail starts at the Coronado Ferry Landing and goes to Imperial Beach. You'll see views of the Pacific Ocean and pass by the San Diego Bay National Wildlife Refuge. Mission Basilica San Diego de Alcala this is the first of the 21 missions fashioned along the San Diego coast. It was built in 1769 to represent the birth of Christianity there. It's still an active parish that holds mass every day. It's also an architectural wonder with white stucco walls, a Spanish roof, and grand archways that are worth seeing even if you're not religious. Tuna Harbor Dockside Market this is far from the only farmer's market in San Diego, but it's one of the best. It's open for pre-orders from 5 p.m. on Thursdays to 7 p.m. Fridays, allows for curbside pickup on Saturdays from 10.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m., and offers additional seafood from 8 to 3 on Saturdays. Torrey Pines State Natural Reserve this spot takes up 1,750 acres of beautiful oceanfront space. Its primary purpose is to protect the Torrey Pines it's named after, and the wildlife that live within and around them. It features over 3,000 of these beautiful trees, and the only other place in the country they're found is on Santa Rosa Island in Santa Barbara. You'll also find one of California's last salt marshes and waterfowl refuges. The reserve is open all year, and admission is $10 to $25. You can visit the 4.5-mile Torrey Pines State Beach or walk over eight miles of trails, but guided hikes aren't available for now, and the visitor center remains closed due to the pandemic. Belmont Park This small amusement park sits by the ocean. It's been in operation since 1925 and has become a can't-miss attraction since then. The first thing you'll see when driving by is the 2,600-foot-long roller coaster called the Giant Dipper. Another can't-miss coaster is the Spinning Beach Blaster. There are also classic rides such as Tilt-A-Whirl, a, a zipline, bumper cars, and a carousel. You can also enjoy the park's snack stands or restaurants, watch its shows, or relax at its indoor pool and fitness center, The Plunge at Fit. Petco Park this stadium hosts the San Diego Padres and is one of the only ones in America to offer a water view. It has a sandstone exterior with palm trees all around. If it's not a game day, you can still drink at the Stone Brewing Company Beer Garden on the upper deck or enjoy one of over 50 dining options. You can also pay $25 for a pre-game tour or on non-game days, shell out $20 for adults or $17 for seniors or children to schedule a tour. It'll take 80 minutes to see the press box, dugout, hall of fame, and other highlights. 
Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Vucation for more. Stick around for more of the best of San Diego. The Old Globe this spot was built to resemble Shakespeare's Old Globe Theatre in London. It contains three separate theatres. The Donald and Darlene Shiley stage has over 580 seats. The round Cheryl and Harvey White Theatre has 250 and lets you get close up to the actors. And the Lowell Davies Festival Theatre is outdoors. USS Midway Museum this museum honors San Diego's contribution to the Navy in every way, even through its construction. It's a decommissioned aircraft carrier turned into a 971-foot floating museum. It has over 29 restored aircraft and 60 exhibits and attractions that include a flight deck, hangar bay, mess hall, berthing, and more. The museum also offers audio-guided tours and hosts 400 annual active-duty military events, all of which are open to the public. Maritime Museum this spot serves as another look into San Diego's naval history. It hosts sailing ships, submarines, and the world's oldest active ship, the Star of India. You can even ride the California, a vessel known as the official tail ship of California. Torrey Pines Golf Course this spot contains two 18-hole championship courses. It's a historic spot for golf lovers after hosting both Tiger Woods and former President Obama. The challenge and prestige is only matched by the course's beauty. Del Mar Racetrack this track hosts 8 to 12 races Wednesdays through Saturdays, with 30 minutes between each of them. It also holds events like food truck festivals and concerts during non-racing hours. Tickets are only 6 bucks. SeaWorld San Diego Check out the underwater viewing tunnel, penguin habitat, or wild arctic ride and exhibit. You'll see dolphins, sea lions, otters, sea turtles, and more. If you want to see them in action, find a show. You can also enjoy rides such as the Man Ray Coaster, the Journey to Atlantis, and the Shipwreck Rapids. Send your children to the Sesame Street Bay of Play. San Diego Zoo this spot's 100 acres houses over 37,000 rare species. You can spend over half a day here viewing them all and experiencing its shows and animal presentations. Come in the summer for the nighttime zoo series that lets you stay later. You can also enjoy the zoo's various restaurants and drink spots. Cabrillo National Monument this statue of Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo, the first European explorer to sail the California coast, was built in 1542. Standing by it provides access to beautiful views. If you want to learn more about the history behind it, take a ranger-guided tour of the statue and nearby Old Point Loma Lighthouse. Unique Neighborhoods in Little Italy, you'll find popular Italian spots like Barbuda, Buon Appetito, and Civico 1845 along India Street. You can also try other restaurants like Ironside Fish and Oyster, Juniper and Ivy, and Queenstown Public House. Visit on Saturdays to enjoy a farmer's market and come late for the hot nightlife scene. The city of Coronado is technically a peninsula. It sits only two miles from Coronado Bridge and contains shops, restaurants, family-friendly areas, and the famous Hotel del Coronado. Sunset Cliffs is an equally charming neighborhood that takes up 68 acres and is 1.5 miles long. It features sandstone cliffs, beautiful vegetation, secluded beaches, the Sunset Cliffs National Park, and more. The Cedros Avenue Design District has over 85 shops in its two and a half blocks, as well as several galleries, clothing shops, and farmer's market on Sundays. Barrio Logan is one of California's 14 cultural districts. Chicano Park has over 80 outdoor murals painted on the Coronado Bridge that depict important Mexican and Chicano figures. It also contains modern businesses like Por Vida, Border X Brewing, Salud, and Simon Limon. The seaside neighborhood of La Jolla is so packed with attractions you'll never run out of things to do. Visit La Jolla Shores Beach to swim, snorkel, or catch a glimpse of its leopard sharks. Next to it is the La Jolla Underwater Park Ecological Reserves with two artificial reefs that host a range of wildlife. La Jolla Cove is also nearby, and this ecologically protected beach is a perfect place for new snorkelers to practice. Children's Pool Beach is made for young family members and also serves as a haven for seals. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites in San Diego? Let us know in the comment section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.